Matt Trucks here of the Jackson Kayak Fishing Team and founder of theplastichole.net. Uh, today I'll be going over how to install a lever lock anchor trolley on a Jackson Kayak Kraken 15.5. Today we'll be installing a lever lock anchor trolley. Um, I'm actually going to go with the HD version. The only difference between the regular anchor trolley and the HD version is um, more hardware. This this uh, actually has backing plates. It's just it's more of a, a heavy duty anchoring system. Um, since this is the Kraken and I do fish pretty heavy water with it, I will be definitely needing that extra stability on the anchor trolley. So I'm gonna go through that. All right, first of all in the package you'll find uh, separately packed hardware. These are all your screws and bolts that you'll need for installing. Um, you'll also find anchor trolley line. It's nice that that's included. Um, you'll find two Harkin pulleys. Uh, you could also upgrade these to the new stealth pulleys that um, Yak Attack is now coming out with. Um, you'll find a uh, anchor trolley ring. This is where you put your stakeout pole or run your, tr your uh, anchor line through. Um, you'll also find three backing plates. These will go inside the kayak to give the uh, whole system more rigidity. Um, you'll also find the uh, clamp base and the lever lock itself. That's what it's named after, because this will lock in the ring once it's all assembled. And you'll also find um, these pad hooks, there'll be four of those. Okay, first step after you've, you've uh, checked to make sure all of your hardware has been included in the package is to distinguish where you would like your uh, anchor trolley pulley to go. Now I typically install mine 12 inches from the, from the tip of the bow. Um, this is what I've always done in the past. So what you want to do, um, line it up um, on the crack, and I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to line it up with the, the uh, center of this ridge. And I'm just going to push my center punch to mark my first hole. It should be right there. Using a 1364th drill bit, you will now drill your first hole. First hole is drilled. Now with the number one hardware, these are the long black screws. I will now slide that in there and then I will open my hatch, my bow hatch here, to expose the inside of my bow. I have access to mount the backing plate inside. So my backing plate. Reach inside. And I'm going to go through the front, not the back, of this backing plate. Now that's on there. I'm going to grab a screwdriver and snug it up. Okay, now. I've snugged this up a little bit um, using a uh, 164th drill bit. I'm gonna drill a small pilot hole. Make sure you pull these straight. Draw, drill straight in. Now I'm gonna go back to my 13 16th drill bit and drill out the rest of the hole. Okay, now again with my other number one hardware. I'm going to run this through the inside here. Line up my backing plate. Put my screwdriver. I'm going to snug this down. Get it pretty tight. There you go. Now you repeat the same steps on, on the stern. All right, repeating the same process in, in the stern here, but now you're gonna point your pulley towards the bow. So I'm gonna set this up right in the middle here again. And use my center punch to mark where I'm gonna drill. I'm gonna drill straight again. So now again with your number one screws and your 
backing plate. Take the pulley. Slide it in there. Back hatch open. You're just gonna snug it up a little bit. You don't want to snug it up too tight because you don't want the you don't want the backing plate to be in the way of your second drill. Or else you'll just drill into the backing plate and that will not be pretty. Right now it's hanging down on the inside there, so now I can line it and get it straight. I'm gonna drill another pilot hole. Smaller drill bit. Again, drill straight. Okay, push your hardware through. Align the backing plate. And snug it up with your screwdriver. All right. Next step. Oh, and also, um, right on the uh, backing plate here, this will focus into it. You'll see that two holes are dedicated for the pulley and two, two holes for the clamp base. Now you want to use the pulley holes for the pulley install. Okay, now one under the line, you're going to run through your trolley ring. And you're going to tie an overhand knot. Now we're going to run this through our pulleys and this will stop it from sliding all the way through. So I'm going to grab the other end of the line. And I'm going to run it through the bottom of the pulley. And I'm going to run it all the way back. I'm going to pull this, of course it's going to get caught on everything. I'm going to pull this until I get to the end. Now the line's pretty taut. As you can see the line has ended, the line has ended here at the bow and then I'm gonna run this through the other side I'm gonna pull it pretty taut now as you can see here the um, the line is actually going on top of the deck but that's okay because that's what we have the uh, the, the pad eyes for and that'll secure it so it runs along the side all right so once again with the lever lock you're gonna want this out of your paddle sweep way so I'm gonna do the same as I did before I'm gonna mark a spot and with my 1 8 inch drill bit I'm gonna drill my first pilot hole all right, for assembling the clamp base, I'm gonna use the number 10 screws, which are not pictured, but they are the longer silver screws. They're, they're sort of self-tapping. Um, the size is actually 10-32 by 5 8 inch, for the Phillips head. Screwdriver, and a lever lock. Going to screw in the first side. Now these are fit nice and snug, so there's really no need to silicone them. You can if you want, though. I'm gonna keep that level. I'm gonna drill the second pilot hole. Prior to tightening this down, you're gonna wanna run the top side 
of your line. Through the top two holes. Okay, now that should slide freely through there. And then you should be able to lock. Now, as you can see, the lever lock clamp is set in its position, and you can lock the ring under here. And this will let you slide it forward and aft, and the lever will lock it in place. This is so when you have your anchor on the stern or the bow, you can actually lock the line so any sort of wind pushing you won't let the anchor trolley slide out of place. The next step will be to install the pad eyes. There's four of them. Um, this is going to vary per boat where you install them and really what you want to do is just install them in an area where the trolley line is going to overlap the top of the deck so it's just to keep it in line you could use three you could use two um, on these longer boats you're definitely going to use four like the Kraken now for placement of the pad eye hooks um, you're going to want the hook to be down because that's actually going to take your free flowing line and just keep it in line. Um, it's going to hold down to the kayak the top line which you're not going to use to anchor off. Of. Alright so my first placement is going to be right here as you can see kind of riding up the bow here. So I'm going to loop the first line and the other line is just going to kind of lock in under that hook. Now the center punch once again mark where your first hole goes. And one eighth inch drill bit. And then drill our hole. Alright, once again with the number 10 screws, these are the shorter ones. We're going to use these to uh, install our our pad hook. Take our pad hook and our screw. Take the line underneath. There's one there. And then the second one's gonna go directly below that. And you want to make sure this line is underneath this screw. Just snug it down. Make sure the top line is free from underneath the uh, clip and running through the hole here. So there you go. That should slide freely. And now I'm going to repeat the same step on the stern here. Looks like it's riding up right here. And this is kind of where the curvature of the boat starts curving back right around here. So this is a good spot for it right here. Again, take our center punch. Take our self-tapping screw. Line it with the hole. And screw it in. Making sure that our top line runs through the notch or hole. And that should all slide freely. And repeat the same steps for the other two hooks, and then we'll tie it off. Now you can save all these these uh, drill uh, filings in case you ever need to patch a hole on your boat. Simply stuff the two that come out right back into the hole and with a heat gun and a putty knife you can seal up any hole this size. This would be the last pad hook to be installed. I'm going to try to center between the uh, lever lock
Okay, that completes the pad for insulation. Okay, now we're just gonna cinch up the uh, the anchor trolley. It's be pretty taut. Um, now what I typically do is I'll put half hitches in here, and the reason being why is because this will allow you down the road to be able to adjust it, which is pretty much really, really good idea. I'll put about four half hitches in here, and this will allow me to adjust it down the road because when this gets wet and when you get some anchor load on here it may want to stretch. Actually I'm gonna put five in this one. And there you have it. The lever lock anchor trolley installed on the Jackson kayak cracking.